only nine available hoopers on what's the last leg of this Sixers almost two week road trip. These boys got some dog in them. Let's get busy. Sixers opening possession demonstrates their plan of attack. Rely heavily on screens to both draw switches and create advantages and mismatches to exploit the usual. But without Curry, Tobias, and Embiid, there's a lack of dribble penetration and face up post up production, which means everyone's got to work together to get into their offense. Let's go. Bible sets an off ball screen for Maxi based on the communication between Fox and Halliburton that leads to a switch on the perimeter. Bible's going to use Halliburton's momentum against him and roll where ultimately Drummond finds him on the cut. Although Quirk Miles only dropped four buckets in this game, he gave the Sixers more than enough as a playmate. Double screens, one pop, one roll. Quirk Miles garners the defense's attention in the middle of the floor and then drops a no look diamond to Niang's shooting pocket. Now we're seeing continued growth from Maxi as a ball handler in what feels like every game. Check this out. He pushes pace and accelerates towards the right side of the floor. That's the strong side, but more importantly, that's where he's got numbers. So instead of just driving, Maxi does the math. Harrison Barnes can't defend two players at once. And Barnes is more likely to follow the three-point shooter because Maxi's penetrating downhill. Shake checks in for Maxi and gets busy immediately. But that wouldn't be without the help of Andre Drummond, who does a fantastic job bringing his teammates in space. Speaking of the devil, Andre Drummond was menacing defensively in the first quarter, which of course set a tone, but also essentially kept Alex Len off of the floor for the remainder of the game. Bullying started on this possession where Drummond blocked two shots and the Sixers scored on the opposite end. But it continued throughout the entire first quarter. Takes the De'Aaron Fox drive away, covers. Come on now, he packs Len up! You come in a cut, it get dangerous. These two, Shake and Drummond, are cutting up! Fox goes under the screen, Len and drop coverage. Shake gets a pretty comfortable three. Barnes clears the screen, receives the inbounds pass, they gotta take that back to the drawing board. That's a big body in the paint. Quarter two, talk to me. Maxi takes the handoff from Shake and gets his typical two screens. One with a roll, one with a pop. But if you'll notice, Davion Mitchell, Shake's defender, has to switch on to and pick up Maxi. Unfortunately, if you're not in front of him, you're in trouble, cause you ain't catching up. Here, Max uses something similar, his speed, to make the defense move to where he wants. He beats Mitchell off of the dribble again, forcing Len to help, so Bassey rolls, which means Heald's gotta tag him. That penetration leads to an open bucket, but really, it epitomizes his growth as a ball handler. Come with me! Two dribbles, no one can close that distance, he's too quick! Again, two screens for Maxi. concept remains the same. Get him a one-on-one -on -one in space, preferably against the switch defender, because watch how easy he makes it look. Count with me, ready? Only two dribbles from the top of the key, right into Barnes' chest! and the 6'8 defender can't do anything about it. We'll conclude this quarter with some nice playmaking and an even more impressive bucket. Two-man game takes Fox's attention off of Maxi. Having said that, Maxi moves without the basketball and Cork leads him to a spot. Hey! Third quarter ball, what do we got? Cork gets double screens, one pop, one roll. This is why you pair ball handlers with rollers. Optionality. Hey! Where'd he come from? This man's missed six games, yet he's still only one of two players with at least 25 steals and 15 blocks this season. Anyway, you saw Maxi. Someone come get this man a screen. Uh-huh. The screen from Bassey takes Fox out of the play, which leaves Tristan Thompson DOA. If you don't know what that means, get on arrival. The poor guy stood no chance. Not gonna lie, this game got ugly at times, but the fourth quarter was the most telling quarter. Let's talk about it. The Sixers opened the final quarter 0 for 6 from the field with a turnover. They didn't score in nearly the first four minutes, but their defense kept them in striking distance. They didn't force an eye-opening amount of turnovers, but what they did do was present their defense in the form of good help, recoveries, and rotations. You have Sacramento's offense to thank too, I guess, because their starters want to combine one for 10 from the field that quarter. The Kings four of 19 altogether. Meanwhile, the Sixers got some late game heroics from George Niang, a couple of timely buckets in the fourth. Obviously Tyrese too, their offensive focal point without MB, Tobias, and Curry. He gets a one-on-one -on -one with Holmes because of the Drummond screen, but Holmes retreats to put a body on Drummond, which gives Maxi space to shoot. Shake gets what he wants, that's food. Harrison Barnes can't check him? But wait, but wait, it gets better. Watch the face, watch the face. That's demon time. <laughs> That's the face of a man who's cooking. Matisse's presence and pursuit helps the Sixers massively in crunch time here. Buddy Hield shot two for seven in the second half, if you could guess why. Fox communicates with Holmes. Trap ball, hedge the screen, whatever. Keep Shake away from the basket here. 
pocket pass. Not the best one, but Drummond does what he has to do. The Sixers erased a seven point deficit this quarter, took control of the lead, and really never stopped applying pressure. It's an important win, especially shorthanded on the road. And look, do with this as you please. But buddy sake, come get me. That's all I got. I appreciate you hanging out with me. For everyone still supporting, tapping in, showing love, I can't thank you enough, but what I can do is tell you how much I appreciate you. So I appreciate you. Enjoy your holiday, your holiday weekend. However you get down, just enjoy it responsibly. Look, if you could, comment down below, like the video, share it with a friend, get at me on Twitter. You do whatever you got to do. But most importantly, stay solid, baby. Look, everyone's got a role to play. Play yours. Stay solid, baby. I'm off this, bro. I'll catch you in the next one.